to create a new customer. If you are uploading a proposal for a new customer, scroll to the bottom of the page and select New Customer and choose the customer type. This video will demonstrate how to create a limited company customer, a farming partnership and a private individual. Under the Customer Type drop-down list, select Private Limited Company. Once the type has been selected, all of the relevant fields will appear. You can search for a limited company by using the Company Search field. This feature is integrated with Companies House. If you use this feature, the business name, company registration number and established date will auto-populate. You can use the postcode search to auto-populate the address details, as this field is integrated with the Royal Mail postcode finder. You must fill out all the fields marked with an asterisk. Once you have completed the mandatory information, click Submit. The next example will cover a farming partnership. Here you'll need to fill out the customer and industry types, the acreage owned and rented, as well as the customer details. Again, you can use the postcode search to help auto-populate some fields. This page will also allow you to add each of the partner details. Fill out the details and press Submit. The final example will outline how to add a private individual. The process is the same, but the information required is different. In this final example of how to create a new customer, we will load a private individual customer type, whose occupation is a director. Complete a postcode search to find the individual's address, and this will auto-populate the details, or alternatively, you can fill in the fields manually. Once all the required details have been completed, press Submit and you should have successfully created a new private individual customer. Once you have selected your product, you can complete a customer search to see if there's an existing entry for the customer you wish to load. To check whether a customer is already existing, search their business name, postcode, company registration number or third party ID. Based on your search criteria, a list will then appear. Select the customer that you're looking for. If you complete a search, you may notice that some customers appear in bold and some do not. This means that the customer exists within a database, but they aren't linked to your company. If you are submitting a proposal for a customer that exists but was not created by you, select the row that the customer details sits on and a link customer button will appear. Then review the customer details, complete the mandatory fields and click submit. The customer will now show as a bold entry in the search table, meaning they are linked to your customer database. With Mercury, you can add a new billing address to an existing customer if you wish to update the customer details. Once you select your product type, simply search for the customer you are looking for, select their details and click Create New Billing Address. This will direct you to a page where you can update the details you'd like to change. Once you update the details, click Submit. Next time you search for a customer by their name, the address will appear. If your customer requires a guarantor, select Yes, and then select whether you'd like to create a personal guarantor or a company guarantor. If you select a personal guarantee, this limits the guarantor search results to private individuals only. If you select a corporate guarantee, the search results are restricted to limited companies. At a minimum, fill out all of the fields with asterisks. Remember, by completing a postcode or company search, some of the fields will auto-populate for you. Fill in the customer guarantors details and click Submit. Adding a private or corporate guarantee is largely similar to adding a customer, as explained previously. And that's how you manage customers and guarantors.